Our Randy Travis is in Houston tonight and witnessed several rescues himself. Randy? Yeah, Russ, it's been another uh, miserable day here in soggy Houston, Texas. Uh, the rain has actually stopped right now. And in fact, in some areas, I, I must tell you, the, the water has receded a little bit, but in a lot of neighbors, it certainly is not. In fact, in this neighborhood right here, it's actually gotten higher. In fact, I talked to one uh, homeowner who said she knew it was time to leave when her parquet floor started peeling up at her feet. Uh, as you said, we have witnessed several uh, rescues here today. Um, here's one that happened about an hour ago. Take a look. So we're here in the Charlestown uh, Colony uh, subdivision in Houston. Been riding around with uh, some very dedicated volunteers uh, with a uh, 3P off-road in this uh, five-ton uh, surplus truck. And they're starting to rescue some people here in this area. Uh, some of the dozens of folks in this neighborhood have been waiting for help here. I think we have five plus a dog, one, two, three, four, five, yes, plus a dog coming over here to this uh, this five-ton truck, the only kind of vehicle really can get in here right now. Um, it's really been difficult to get around uh, unless you've got a truck like this or a boat like that. And I'm going to move back a little bit so we can get these people in. How's everybody doing? How long have you been waiting? Like three hours. Three hours or so? Okay. Has the water been this high the whole time or is it starting to go down a little bit? It's going up. Well, come on on. Come on board here. You got it? There you go. Hey, someone else want to hop in the back of the Hey, buddy. Thank you. Watch out. Slide Careful. forward. Let's slide forward. All right. There you go. So five rescue room for a lot more as we drive through the Charlestown Colony subdivision uh, up here in Houston. Uh, the water has actually gone down in a lot of different areas, I've been told, uh, but um, still some pockets of obviously very high water here in some very dangerous situations. So uh, we'll be following these people out throughout the, uh, the afternoon here and, and see who else they can help. Yeah, the problem is that this neighborhood fa uh, falls uh, within the shadow of Attic's uh, Reservoir. It's one of the two reservoirs designed to protect Houston from flooding. But it, it, it's so much water, it can't do its job. And so they've had to empty those reservoirs into neighborhoods like this. Otherwise, it would be a much bigger disaster. That's why the water in this area is rising instead of falling. So we'll continue to ride along with these uh, very dedicated volunteers and follow their rescue efforts. For now, reporting live from Houston, Randy Travis, Fox 5 News. Randy, as you know, that reservoir Reservoir you mentioned attics is an earthen dam. How much concern is there that that might fail in the coming days? I, I've been monitoring some of the reports from our sister station here in Houston, and they say there there is some concern that that dam will fail, which is another reason why they have to pull that water out as fast as they can into neighborhoods like Charlestown Colony here. Otherwise, as I said, it could be a much, much, much bigger disaster. Amazing work you all are doing out there. Randy, thanks so much for the live report from Houston. We appreciate it.